Hello everyone, this is Yeshua said my name. Uh, I was going to only do one video today, however, I came across some breaking news that I wanted to update my subscribers on. Uh, maybe you've heard this, maybe you haven't. Uh, however, there are uh, multiple news sources uh, claiming that allegedly Pope Francis has told Eugenio Scalfari, an Italian journalist, that uh, Pope uh, that Jesus did not bodily resurrect from the dead, that he simply uh, came forth from the tomb as a spirit only. Now, in the scriptures, we are told that Jesus bodily resurrected from the dead. Uh, when he appeared to Thomas and the disciples and the other apostles in the upper room, uh, he actually asked them to touch him. He asked for uh, some fish to eat and said, a spirit does not have flesh and bone as you see that I have. But apparently, again, uh, Pope Francis has allegedly spoken to Eugenio uh, Scalfari, yet another blasphemous heresy against Christ. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I broke you the news that uh, Pope Francis allegedly told Scalfari that Jesus was not divine. He was not God in the flesh. He was simply a man. Now it is breaking through LifeSite News, Church Militant, uh, through the, uh, the UK.com and other news sources, uh, secular and Christian, that uh, it says here, Scalfari uh, allegedly quotes Pope Francis saying, denies the bodily resurrection of Christ. Now, uh, this is coming from churchmilitant.com, and I will leave you links to several other news sources uh, citing this alleged uh, statement from Pope Francis. Uh, you know, I mean, Pope Francis is just breaking the record when it comes to how many heretical blasphemous things he's been stating throughout his papacy, uh, you know, that it is uh, dangerous to have an immediate and personal relationship with Christ. Uh, of course, uh, him stating he wants you to only come through the, the papacy or your priest to get to Christ, uh, which is not true. When you are born again of God's spirit, you have direct access to Christ. That's why the curtain in the temple was rent in two. So we have direct access access to Christ through the Holy Spirit who lives in us. There is no need to go through a pope, a priest, a pastor, or anyone else. If you are a born-again believer, you have direct access through the Holy Spirit to Jesus himself and a personal relationship with him. There is nothing dangerous about having a relationship with your Savior. Uh, when I came across this statement, allegedly that uh, Scalfari uh, had made, I wanted to read you uh, some excerpts from some articles that I have here. Uh, this one statement is coming from Church Militant. I have others from LifeSite News as well as the UK. Uh, dot com. From Rome, in a new series of troubling revelations, Italian journalist Eugenio Scalfari has quoted Pope Francis as denying the bodily resurrection of Jesus and stating that the crucified Christ emerged from the tomb as a spirit rather than as a body. Now, again, if you look in the scriptures, when Jesus rose from the dead, he appeared to many people as flesh and bone. Uh, he asked the disciples to give him some fish to eat. He said, come and touch me and see that it is not I myself. So the thing is, is that, you know, many deny the bodily resurrection of Christ. And now apparently, according to Eugenio Scalfari, who is himself an atheist, apparently he is a close friend and has been for years of Pope Francis, is coming out yet again with another blasphemous claim, another quote, and Pope Francis is not coming out and denying personally any of these claims. Uh, two weeks ago when I broke you the story about Eugenio Scalfari stating that Pope Francis denied the deity of Christ, uh, did the Pope ever come out and announce to the public that he never said this? Now, if, if someone made a claim like that about me and said Angie's denying the deity of Christ or that he didn't bodily rise from the dead, I would be the, I'd make a video as quick as I could to defend myself and say, no, I did not say that. The, the Vatican has not rescinded these statements. Uh, they have not, the Pope himself has not come out and defended himself and, and rescinded any of these statements or said, no, I didn't say that. Uh, they beat around the bush about it um, and use a bunch of word salad to, to get around the topic. So apparently, uh, again, this is, this is coming from Church Militant, which is a Catholic site, uh, says in a new series of troubling revelations, Italian journalist Eugen Eugenio Scalfari has quoted Pope Francis as denying the bodily resurrection of Jesus. Now, when Jesus ascended to heaven, it stated in the book of uh, Acts that as you saw the Lord ascend into heaven, so shall he return. And this was in bodily form. 
we were told. He rose again physically from the dead. When he comes back, it says, in the twinkling of an eye, we will be transformed and given bodies like Christ. Christ did not simply just as you know, escape the tomb as a spirit. He spoke to Thomas and spoke to the apostles who were hiding in the upper room after the crucifixion of Christ and said, see that it is I myself. Come and touch me. Give me something to eat. A spirit does not have flesh and bone as you see that I have. That's what Jesus said. And what I'm about in this channel is exposing the heresies and the, and the blasphemies of anything that is a false doctrine. And I have long held the belief that the book of Daniel and Revelation 17 and 18 expose the papal dynasty as Antichrist. Now, who will be the final man of sin? I do not know. I am not placing times and dates and specifics names on people. I'm simply coming out and telling you the facts of what is happening. And it was prophesied in scripture that the man of sin or that lineage or that seat of a man would, uh, his blasphemies would reach the high heaven. That he would deny everything that is called God, uh, presume to change times and laws, which of course the papacy has claimed to do. That they are that they are above the law, that they can um, so uh, that they can change times and laws. This has been in catechisms. It's, it's been in papal quotes down through the centuries. You can backtrack and digress through different videos that I've made and see that for yourself. And I give you page and book and title and quote. So this is not just my opinion. Uh, so this, what I just read you, came from Church Militant. Let me take you to uh, cnsnews.com. Uh, this is yet another uh, source from CNS News um, by Michael Chapman. Scalfari claims Pope denied the bodily resurrection of Jesus Christ. Uh, it says here in his new book and in the periodical, he founded La Repubblica, Eugenio, Scalf Eugenio Scalfari, a longtime friend of Pope Francis and frequent papal interviewer which I've said before, claims that the Pope told him that Jesus Christ did not rise bodily from the dead, but, quote, in semblance as a spirit. All right, so I'll put a link down in the description section for you so you can read this. So in layman's terms, basically what he's telling Scalfari is, well, Christ, you know, emerged from the tomb resembling a spirit, not an actual physical body. This is blasphemous. This is not what the scripture states. So I just read you a quote from the church militant. This just came from cnsnews.com. Uh, here's another one, and this is a secular news source, the dailymail.uk. So this is coming from the UK. Um, uh, right here, Pope Francis, uh, the title says, Denied Physical Resurrection of Christ, says Italian friend, as Catholics demand Vatican denounces the heretical claim. So, but apparently this is breaking all over both secular and Catholic news sources that uh, the claims that he is denying that Christ actually physically rose from the dead. Now, where is Pope Francis coming out and actually stating, um, I, I didn't say this. Uh, if someone were to make a claim like this about you, would you not come out and denounce this and say, I said no such thing? Uh, the Pope has told people that uh, it doesn't matter what God you worship. If you're an atheist, agnostic, Hindu, Muslim, as long as you have a good conscience, you're a good person, we'll all meet there. This is the ecumenical lie, the one world religion lie. Okay, Christ stated, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes unto the Father except through me. He's either lying to you or he is telling you the truth. Okay? This Pope claims all paths lead to God. This latest Amazonian synod where these Pachamama Mother Earth statues were danced around and pagan ceremonies were, were being uh, taking place. Uh, no one denounced it as paganism uh, amongst the, you know, the Pope and, and the bishops all sitting there. You know, the Pope has come out and said to have a relationship with Christ is dangerous. He's come out and denied the divinity of Christ, allegedly. Uh, now, apparently, now, apparently, he's denying to Scalfari, a longtime interviewer and uh, friend of Pope Francis, that Jesus simply emerged from the tomb as in a semblance, quote, of a spirit, unquote. Um, so I will give you links down to the dailymail.uk. Uh, the LifeSite News came out with the same article, um, as well as Church Militant. So I will give you the links to these sites, but I wanted to, I wasn't going to make any other videos today, but when I saw, uh, because I check daily for you, uh, as far as prophecy news, I check daily. Um, so when I saw this come up, 
I wanted to get on here immediately and make this video and let you know about this. Uh, this is in direct fulfillment. Uh, you know, you're living in these times, guys, all right? Now, like I said, I don't place times and dates on the return of Christ. I don't do that on this channel. If, if you run across people that do that, uh, they're lying to you because no one knows exactly the day or the hour. We can know the season and we can know the signs that Christ told us to look for. And we are living in those times. And when Jesus said, when you begin to see these things happen, look up for your redemption, which is him, draws nigh. And, it, and we were told in the scriptures that as you saw Christ ascend, he will come back again. And that is in bodily form. All right. The scripture prophesied in the Psalms uh, that you will not let your servant see decay. And when Jesus said that the sign of Jonah would be given the generation, what he meant was as Jonah was in the whale for three days, so will the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth and raised again. Jesus stated, I have the power to lay my life down and I have the power to take it up again. And it was a bodily resurrection. And when he appeared to the apostles in the upper room, when they were hiding for fear of Rome, all right, Jesus said, give me something to eat. Uh, a spirit cannot eat, as as you see. I have touched me. I have flesh and bone. So apparently, uh, again, Francis, uh, just two weeks after telling allegedly Scalfari that Jesus is not divine, he was simply a man. Now he is coming out and, and denying the physical resurrection of Christ, uh, which also sets the stage uh, for denying the physical return of Christ. Okay, so if you're denying the physical resurrection. How could you also not deny the physical return of Christ, which sets us up for the man of sin, opposing and exalting himself above all that is called God, so that he himself sits in the temple of God being worshipped as God. So if you're denying the physical resurrection of Christ, then you would also have to deny the physical return of Christ, correct? Do you not see where this is leading prophetically and how this is lining up with the book of Daniel and Revelation 17 and 18? Wow. So when I saw this breaking on my phone, uh, you know, I, I had to get on real quick and make this video for you guys and get this out. Uh, pass these videos along. Hit the like button. Please uh, share this information. It needs to get out there. Um, thank you all for listening. Thank you for subscribing and more to come soon as more updates come in. God bless.